Hello beautiful geeks, how is everybody doing today? This is Lewis coming to you once again with another one minute review and today we're going to be talking about Thor Ragnarok. So without any further ado, let's see what we got. Marvel strikes yet again. Thor Ragnarok is a beautiful visual and thrilling ride in the world of the God of Thunder and friends. Kay Blanchett had to be my favorite part in this movie however. Her portrayal of Hela, the goddess of death, was truly delicious and on point. I also enjoy seeing a side of the Hulk which I feel we have not seen before or maybe hasn't been able to be shown in previous movies. There are plenty of great cameos which will make you go, AHA! And some questions are answered which may have left us hanging in previous movies or statements of the uh, Marvel Universe in general. The one thing that annoyed me about this movie is ironically the thing that has become a regular in these Marvel movies, and that is the overuse of comedy. Certain moments lose their meaning due to the writers including a ha ha moment in the middle of epic scenes. I feel like they try too hard to get a laugh out of us just to keep their quote unquote family friendly mm, funny movie gig. Although there were a couple of PG-13 cuss words so I don't know. Overall I would recommend Thor Ragnarok for sure but seriously Marvel you need to remember these are superhero movies not parodies of them. If I wanted to watch a parody I watch Amazon's The Tick. So I'm not telling you to be DC and extra dark, but just give me a break. Thor Ragnarok gets a 9 out of 10. But what do you guys think about Thor Ragnarok? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you agree with me about the comedy thing? Do you disagree with me? I'm sorry, but certain scenes should have the respect they deserve and not have a random thing attack him out of nowhere, just whatever, just to get a haha -ha moment. I don't know, that's just my thought. Again, you don't have to be dark or whatever, you don't have to be DC because apparently that's what they're famous for, but just remember that at the end of the day it's a superhero movie, and yes, the God of Thunder would not do certain things that he did in this movie, but whatever, none of my business. Thank you guys for watching, you have been awesome, stay awesome, and geek on.